On this bag, this is my laptop. It is 2019. It is the 15 inch one. This came just before the 16 inch beast came out. But I, I can't complain. This is a great system. It is it is it is super fast. This is my go-to editing uh, guy. He's got all the softwares, you know, all the software. And I will talk about my editing systems, my editing softwares because I am not tied to any. I am I, I work with every. I'll talk to you about why you need to why you need to practice uh, a lot more than one editing software. I'll talk about it in another video. I always travel with the laptop separate from my camera and all that. Yeah, we'll talk about the lenses now. Hopefully we are doing great. Let's, let's see. All right. Um, white balance, it came with this bag. Oh, uh, to talk about this bag, first of all, this is, this is the bag for my Sony FS5. Actually, but I rarely take it out with it so it's doing all that job for now until i need to take it to the field but it's good it's handy um, when i'm going out when i when i'm shooting a project right now because i'm still getting acquainted with the sony it's a different ball game like i wish i started there before i came to black magic but now i'm going from easy to hard because this is complicated right so but it's a good learning experience i'm happy you know, I'm handling that. So, uh, uh, but the Black Magic Pockets in my camera 4K is just easy, and you will not understand how easy, how easy Black Magic make cinema for us. But you know, until you start handling FS7, FS5, this came with in the camera bag. It has its own white white balance card. Comes in it is the um, Bora brace, I guess. Bora brace. That's the name of the bag. So I already stuffed my stuff in there and let me go on to the next stuff. All right, this one is um, a little something from Roland I got. I just get it ready for interviews and stuff like that. It, it, it takes a um, three quarter jack to two XLRs. So one, it's already, that's how it comes. And then I bought the, um, a jack, which I'm using on this, um, recording right now but presently the i rock with the um road wireless go okay that's what i'm actually using now even though you see this this uh, lab mic um is connected the lab mic is connected to to the go wireless go road wireless go and that's what i'm actually using but this is the sinizer one and uh i'm using the the this the mic from the sinizer connected to the um, road and I'm recording with the three quarter uh, with the XLR jack which you will see in a in a clip. This is supposed to split it into two. The good thing is the FS5 has two mic in XLRs inputs. I can split from one to that if I decide. But I already have a microphone mounted on the camera right now, so I've got two two inputs on this recording right now so this is for backup plans for another camera like the canon m50 or the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k i can apply this method to get a better audio all right so you might want to it's from roland um, i'll try to get you the link as well so um here is um I'm not sure this is the actual container it came with, but this is where I store it right now. Oh, it's K and F, but it's quite good. It's K and F, I just got a variable ND, just to have it there in handy. Once again, more Kleenex from Fantasy. Oh yeah, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay, so this is from Tiffin, um, one, uh, one eight, Black Promise, uh filter i went with the one eight just to have a feel of it not too much of of the effect 
links will be in the description now these guys are a lifesaver you know how the apple now this max they are all usb type c so you can't put a regular usb into it you have to so i had to get an adapter for USB. This one is a HDMI and USB, and then um, another uh, USB USB Type C in here to the computer. I got four four inputs on each side. I stick this one in. Now this is uh, this guy's got SD card, mini SD, micro one micro one, one mini, and then you know two more stuff. I connect my mouse if I want to use the mouse or if i'm not using bluetooth mouse always in my bag that's it this is just a color checker passport yeah i keep it in my bag you know i'm trying to stay disciplined you know the more you can discipline yourself and i really apply all this to your you know production the better your output will be and your colors will stand out remote for the fs5 we're not talking about that now Watch out for my Apple Five review. Okay, this is the powerhouse. I charge my phones, my um, cameras. This is where I run the Canon M50 from. If I'm doing that connection I talked about, this powerhouse. Actually, I got it from Costco. You could start up, jumpstart your car if your car is sick, battery sick. That is. You can connect it and jump car. It's that strong. Okay, so it can feed, it can take care of a GoPro, charge a GoPro. You can charge my two GoPros at the same time and finish that and then charge two phones at the same time and then come charge some light, a battery, like a sunny, uh, whatever light. It can charge almost anything. Yeah, I only wish now that uh, it has USB Type C as one of the, you know, it's just the, you know, old format uh, U yeah, USB, that's what it has. So, uh, but it's handy. It does the job for me. So I'll put the links, the Amazon links in the description though. Uh, I told you I always have extra HDMI cables here. And you might, don't forget this. You, it's easy to say I have a SD card, but you know, Without this thing, you cannot use it to record on location. So, as much as you need this storage, Samsung one terabyte, I got two of them. Um, yeah, but they come in handy, keep the wires close, all right? You know, finally I say I, I can have something to save my SD cards. I love this thing. Listen, I said I would do a review. And actually, as, as if if i can do that if i can really do what i say because it's a small device i know but it's useful i i would love to do a two minute review of this stuff and if it's ready it will be on this link here because this is great this device is lovely it is hardback it is tough it is water resistant and i'm going to show demonstrate to you how good this thing is I'll put the links in the description, but if you're not convinced, watch out for the video. Let me show you how it is, just in case this is how it is. We have a CFAST card here. It can take the CFAST card, but underneath the CFAST card, you could have you could have uh, uh, your micro SD there before you put your CFAST card. In the same way, in the same way, you could have all these um, cards, you could also have cards underneath. So you can have, you know, it's like a layer of cards, of micro, um, SD card, CFAST cards, and proceed. How are you guys copy? Jesus. I hope I can do timestamps so you guys won't disappear on me, you know, but hopefully if I were you, I would watch, that's me, I would watch all this stuff, but you know, don't forget a plus sign at some point, if you do love this video, do give me that a plus sign, make your donation, whatever, I mean, do the minimum, I, appreciate. I just want to use the application and I'll ensure YouTube that I appreciate that they give me my small channel. This is also from Fantasy. Now. I've been saying a lot of fantasy here. Uh, they were the first company to actually 
uh, give me stuff to review. I think I was like 400 subscribers in or four or less and they sent me stuff to I was like wow and since then they've been sending me stuff for review and I'm like you know I'm, I'm not just happy that they send me stuff but they send me good stuff their stuff are really 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 very good very good I, I I bought a lot on my own just going in there to research what else they have because I've noticed their trend they don't last long in terms of okay don't get me wrong they last long I think their model their um, company model is get what's needed now while it's hot and go to something else you know so they keep uh, discontinuing stuff so if you get it when it's on they are cheap they are always cheap but classy now this is the um, um, magic arm from fantasy that's what I hold my um, free world 7 inches monitor the ultra bright 2200 nits uh, um, monitor yeah, that monitor, yeah, it saved me a lot, it helped me a lot for focusing. You know, you want a monitor that's like that. That is always in my bag, but I'm using it right now, you know, to see what I'm doing right now, because I'm, I'm alone, I'm recording this all alone, so I want to be able to know that I'm not wasting my time. So this, as heavy as that thing is, seven inches, this will hold it steady. I bought the small rig one, as much as I love small rig, it didn't hold up, you know, it kept falling, you know, every now and then. But this guy will hold it rock steady and it's been rocking steady since, you know. So I'll put the links if, if it's, yeah, hopefully it's not discontinued. Um, I'll put the link. If you find it, get it. If I any link from Fantasy, I tell you, get it, get it while you can. All right. Um, I mean... It was in my bag. If I'm honest, this is always in my bag. I do a lot of me measurements, you know. Um, if I'm going to save time before the artist comes, I already mark spots on the ground and measure stuff so that I know where to stand, where I'm pulling focus to, and all stuff like that. So that's in my bag. Measuring tape. You might wanna, you might wanna get that too. This is my initial. After I got messed up by audio. I thought I was ready for video and um, I got messed up with the audio and I learned my lessons since then. I got this guy and you know, like I said, 2020 is out there. Go check it out. All right. This, um, this is a backup plan, but I got a new uh, somewhere. I have uh, the big brother now somewhere. Canon M50 battery. I'll keep it along too. Nothing else here, nothing else there. I think we are good on this side of the patch. Let's go to the middle side of the patch. Okay. Holy Land Mass 300. I don't need to say much about it. This is there. It helps me. I got a twist about how to use this. I got a twist coming up. I'll do a review on it and I'll show you how else. Oh well. You might know it, but you might not. Watch out for the video and I'll show you, you know, how I use it on my everyday life. I don't just wait for location. I use it every time. Alright, so this is that. And and that's the Zoom H6. Uh, um, my new audio device. This is what I depend on now. I'm not getting messed up by audio anymore. Hopefully I can get extra hands, but if I don't, it's always a problem, you know. But if I don't get extra hands on my next short film, I got this to, you know, keep me company and try to run, work it myself. All right. Have uh, the review is coming up too. I'll show you what I use it for. I use it for a lot of things that you may not think. Okay. And of course, it comes with this. It comes with its own set, and, I'm, and I'll show you. You know, I've, I've done the unboxing. I've not shown that yet, but the review is coming up. Um, this is always in my bag too. Uh, cheap, I think eleven dollars or so, or nine dollars, something like nine dollars for white balance. You might want to use that. You know, if you're not using your color checkers, 
you use that. Um, this is there. You know what that is. You know, I keep it around. I always, I have a lot of audio, audio ga gadgets. No, I don't play with audio anymore since they mess me up. Uh, I'm just, I'm not overlooking that. No downplaying. Now this is from Fantasy like, again. Now this is my present vlogging setup. This is what I rock the Canon M50 on. I rock my GoPro on, my zoom cameras or zoom lens, uh, zoom uh, recorder. If I want to keep it standing down there, it can do everything. Can my hang on tree? It's got grip. You know that is you know the, the it's rough, so the grip is very solid you know it can stand straight you could it's got this ball joint um ball point is it ball point now you know you could you could move it you know you know you could move it 360 you know wherever you want to move it to you know very handy get get it if you want to get it's a it's 11 bucks i guess 11 or 16 I think about 16 bucks very cheap right all right so this is advisable. Like I said, fantasy. You get it from them, get it while it lasts. Highly recommended. Uh, this is definitely always in my bag. You see, that's why they don't fit. It can't fit. It can't fit in my bag. You know, I keep this going every time. You know, like yeah, every shoot. You, I mean, most likely I probably use it. Not every time, but you know, it's always, always in my camera bag. You know, so uh, the Moza Air 2 gimbal, the weight is remarkable. I've not done much reviews on it. I'm busy using it instead, but I've got to talk about it soon. You know, I just did the unboxing and a little bit of demonstration, balancing. Yeah, I've done all those videos. You could check it out. I'm actually going to do more, you know, about what I can do with that. So I think this last box is gone. We are almost done. <laughs> My go-to lens, which is the um, FD. I've got a lot of FDs, they're not here. These are the like workhorse lenses. Open the lenses. All the batteries and the tips die on us. Okay. Um, yeah, one of my lenses are missing. Okay, uh, but that's okay. Uh, this is the world famous Sigma 18 to 35. I never really used this lens, but I had to get it. A must have for every filmmaker, like, and everyone you know, needs to have a taste at some point of this lens. You know, it would just not be right to just proceed to other lovely lenses and not to never really use this lens. And of course, I will still do the review. I don't care how many reviews are there. I've got a, I've, I got my own opinion. So I'm talking too much already again. That's what I keep doing. Uh, next is uh, the Rocking On 85. I'm not a fan of Rocking On, but well, when I looked at, I need an 85 millimeters. I need a 85 uh, T, you know, um, cine lens. The cheapest, you know, was the Rockino, you know, that I could find, and uh, it does a very good job. It's not great, but I can make it look great. So you got all the gears ready to work for you. But this is the P Pentax. Taco more 50 millimeters, you know, f1.4. Fast lens, lovely picture, lovely character. This is just the perfect in between sharp and soft. In fact, it's very sharp, but the sharpness look like it's soft. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but I love it. You know what I'm talking if you already experienced this lens. I got these rings, gear rings. I've not uh, installed it yet. But, you know, just to help me feel like it's a cine lens. I got that for this, uh, for the Sigma, and that just fit in without even any problem. Like, you know, I just put it on it and it's been there since day one. You see that? But for this one, I probably need to do some working, you know, screw it up in there. So I'm not ready for that yet, but I got it already. And it's for it, it will, it will fit. All right. 
the last but not the least lens, definitely not the least lens. Guess what? Guess what it is? Guess what? It is 16 millimeters. But guess which 16 millimeters? You can't guess? Okay, it is a cine lens. Guess what lens? Oh, you can't get okay. It is, it is, it is uh, a micro for third lens. Now guess. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's the Mikey or Mikey 16 millimeters Cine uh, T 2.2 T 2.2. Perfect spot for me, not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Woo! This lens is my establishing shot lens. Like 16 for me is like, okay, let me start off with the 16, you know? Now, one thing you uh, about music videos, I can't help it. I have a lot of experience in music videos, you know? One advantage why I have, because um, I portray myself as a director, right? I talk about, you know, practicing on YouTube, I'm into film. Um, I have this dream of being a Hollywood film producer, filmmaker, director one day. And for now, I practice on YouTube. That's my thing. That's my slogan. That's my, you know, stuff like that. In fact, shirts will be coming out soon with all that, you know, practice on the YouTube and practice with me. For short films, for movies and short films, you want to have the same lenses, you know. If I'm going to be doing a movie, I probably want to stick to Mikey collection. If they had the collection, uh, collection, I probably stick to that and do have their. Uh, have the, I already have the 16, the 35, uh, 25 and 35 are not out. 35 just came out. Um, I may not be getting it because I'm still deciding if that's going to be my cinema uh, for my next uh, cinema set for my next movie. But if they bring out the 85 on time and uh, we love the picture of 50, then 85, I might just get the whole set and, you know, make a movie with that. But for music videos, you don't, you are not, you are not restricted. Now you, you can do, you are not restricted to having the same sets of lens. No, you, 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 the, the way to go about it is to have. A, I'm doing too much. I think I'm. This is a class for another day. <laughs> this is, this is a class for another day. But I'll just give you a tip here because there are a couple more that I can help with. Use the same lenses on the same location. Now, the way I shoot music videos, I usually transit from location to location. So I could use this lens for this location and kill it. Or maybe if I'm using uh, the Mikey, I use Mikey 16, Mikey 35, Mikey 25, Mikey 85 on that location and just run it. You can shoot the whole thing with that, but if you if you need if you need to, you can. But keep all your all the sets together and uh, for the next set I can decide to go with the Canon FDs and because they will tell the story better according to what I have in my mind then I use that so uh, music videos um, it doesn't really restrict you if you know what you're doing that's that I think we made it I think we made it so um, I wanted to say this box also is from Casematic I got it from Amazon and um, it's, it does the job for me, you know. I don't want to have a bigger bag than this that will take more, which can take more, but uh, this is just, uh, this is just perfect for me. So that's been my, <laughs> I, I, I love to know if there's a, a longer series than this, a longer what's in my camera bag than this. Of course, mine is what's in my camera bags, so. Um, yeah, I'll try to edit some uh, things out, but I appreciate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, ask questions, direct me, remind me, um, point me in directions that you want me to touch, and I'll be glad to. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget the applause if you can. If it's okay with you, go ahead and use help me use the feature. I appreciate if you help me use the feature. And um, if you put that in, it will support the channel. Links of all this stuff will be in the description. And um, like I told you, 
<clears throat> it's it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. So glad I all right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Banky Wellington here, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, giving a special shout out to Alec Godwin's YouTube page. Much love. Nigeria's most wanted. <laughs>